good morning welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to another day of salvage hunting we're at collecting salvage and end of life scrap vehicles uh, i like to bring you along so you can see what kind of vehicles we collect and if we get anything interesting or awkward or you know just we just have a fun day together and i just want to say a massive thanks to everybody who watches these videos and if you'd be so kind hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up that would be great it doesn't cost anything but it helps us with the algorithm and growing the channel uh, so today is thursday we are heading to yeovil we have a vw torag on board which was i assume was an insurance vehicle which uh, the customer has pulled back off the insurance so we are delivering that back to them uh, and then we've got seven vehicles to pick up so it's going to be a very very busy day today probably a late day because uh, we've not been able to drop this one off till eight o'clock and, uh, and then we've got to get some miles under our belt to try and uh, collect the next ones so we'll see how that goes uh, I think we've got some interesting vehicles today so that all helps and uh, yeah let's crack on and go and get our first vehicle well let's get this one off and then get our first vehicle <laughs> Ho. So that is car number four of seven loaded. It's now two o'clock. Make sure we can get out of here. We've had a pretty, uh, pretty long morning. Uh, that first car this morning, I couldn't tip till eight o'clock. So. Uh, I couldn't start particularly early. Then uh, the second car was in Yeovil as well. Uh, sorry, the first car we collected was in Yeovil. But that was a pig to find because it was in Ford's compound and their compound was, well, shared with a factory entrance. So trying to find it was, uh, was not the easiest because uh, I thought I was going into a factory and uh, that's where I should have been going. <laughs> um, and then we had one in Street, then we had in Trowbridge, and now we're just leaving Blanford with our fourth. So we're not gonna get back to the yard till half past two. We will probably be unloaded from there from three o'clock, and then we gotta go around Paul Bournemouth and pick three more up, so. Ah, uh, six o'clock, I reckon, back to the yard at the earliest. Which, you know, isn't the end of the world. We didn't start till uh, about seven o'clock this morning, so... Definitely not the end of the world. I've done a lot worse than 11 hour shift in my... Uh, in my HGV driving career, that's for sure. 
Look at these traffic lights, look, right on the roundabout. Go. Go? Oh, there we go. Eventually we got there. We eventually worked out that nothing was coming on the roundabout and we could actually progress. Come on, don't, don't stop me on the roundabout, please. Hey, we're through. Oh, these are tight, aren't they? So yeah, uh, busy morning, heading back to the yard now. It's currently two o'clock. We should be there half past two and uh, be out of there by three o'clock, hopefully. And on to cars five, six, and seven, which uh, I think that they're the slightly more interesting ones of the ones we've had today so far. We've got a, a Volkswagen. Ooh. We've got a Volkswagen Phaeton. We have, what else do we have? Oh, a Honda Accord and a Super Impreza. Although I do suspect the Super Impreza will probably be the uh, the two-liter non-turbocharged version, the soft spec, <laughs> or it might be a wagon. It might be a, a WRX wagon that needs a little bit of work. Oh, who knows? Could be a project. Even the uh, even the Honda Accord could uh, could hold potential. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to get on with my journey back to the yard and I shall probably talk to you just as we're leaving and uh, let you know how we're progressing. Right, that's us unloaded. It is uh, quarter to four. We got stuck in a trench train. I had four transporters in front of me when I pulled in. What a palaver. And uh, we got there eventually. We're now going to go and pick up car number five. Now we're finally out and we're free. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's definitely going to be a late one. I'm not sure how much more content I'm going to capture because this is going to have to be quick, sharpish. Oh, bouncy, bouncy road. Spot the skyline. Did you miss it? Beauty. Well, this isn't going so well. Went to pick a Phaeton up and it was inaccessible and stuck in park so uh, we tried and tried and I tried with the winch and it was just pulling it into a brick wall just sliding so um, that, I was there for 45 minutes we've abandoned that so I've come down into Bournemouth now I'm right in a side street and amongst the hotels uh, coming to pick a car up that's in a car park but someone's double parked in front of it now apparently they've got hold of the owner I've been waiting here for 20 minutes now waiting to get a BMW X5 moved so we can get at the uh, Honda Accord it's really not going well today <laughs> you actually couldn't make it up so yeah I got here at quarter to five it's now ten past and we've still got one more to do after this. If, if this isn't moved in 10 minutes, I'm abandoning this one as well. Because uh, this is just ridiculous now. Nothing like being messed around with by customers. You think, oh, yeah. I'll just check, make sure it's accessible before, uh, before the truck comes around. No. Right then. I shall feed back any more information that I get. <laughs> That poor Boxster engine sounded poorly. 
Uh, anyway, we are back at the yard now. Well, in about 30 seconds. It is half past six, so not as bad as I thought we might be. Uh, it would have been a whole lot quicker if we could have loaded all three cars in a normal manner. <laughs> uh, I, I looked at today's, uh, or tomorrow's even, um, schedule, and we are like Newbury, Digcart, up that way. So we're going to fly up the A34 tomorrow morning. I'm going to get these offloaded tonight. And that's about it. Just jack the suspension up to get over those bumps because uh How's it zoom? Oh man, what's going on here? Right, so yeah, just following the Arctic down now. Uh, yeah, that, that's about it. Um, I guess I'll uh, I'll catch you guys in the morning, and uh, we're going to get some more cars. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Friday, and what a beautiful Friday it is. It couldn't be any better. It's like nine o'clock, fourteen degrees. The air conditioner is on. It's lovely. Oh, and I've just got a tickle on my nose. Ah, uh, so yeah. Uh, we've travelled up to sort of Digcot area, uh, about three hours, it's up past nine. Uh, we're just going, uh, collecting our first car, which is a Peugeot 306. Um, so yeah, not expecting too many hassles today, hopefully not too late. Let's go on and pick our first car up. Right, first car collected. We've picked up our little Peugeot, it's now on board. We were going to pick up a Ford Fiesta next, about 30 minutes away. But I phoned them up to tell them that we're on our way and apparently they sold it last week. Didn't tell us about it. Normal really, I think I had one yesterday do the same, or maybe the day before. Uh, so yeah, now we're heading down to Newbury. Uh, we've got a Range Rover, not a Range Rover, a Freelander to pick up. Uh, it's put me a bit out of sorts because I was going to put the Fiesta underneath the top deck. Um, I'm not sure if the Range Rover Freelander is going to be too high. Um, it might be too high, it might not. But we'll have to see. I'll have a look when I get there. But it's a driver, so uh, I can either stick it with the bonnet underneath the Peugeot uh, and then spec the little course we've got last or I could swap them round because it, like I say it drives oh no oh yeah 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 I could swap it round so I could uh, the course I could put underneath the Peugeot and then have the Freelander on the back we'll see we'll cross the bridge when we get to it Anyway, I've got a hour and ten minute drive down to Newbury now, so uh, yeah, I'll see you when we get down there. All right, guys, we are just approaching our second collection, and then we have Newbury Racecourse. That's lovely out here. And we're picking up some from some apartments. Uh, oh wow! Look at these. These are the apartments we're picking up from. 
Imagine living in them, just overlooking the race course. How mad is that? That'd be wicked. Don't respect their cheap. Okay, so the place we want is down through there. I'm not going to be able to drive down through there, so I am going to turn around down here and come back up and turn around. Because I won't fit down through between those apartments. Oh, why are you all up holding here? To get out of your way, and now you're all following me. That hazard lights on, that means you can come round me. There we go. Well, you sussed it out eventually, I suppose. Let that bus go. Flash me out. So, thank you very much indeedy. Right, I'm going to pull up on the side here and take a wander down.
Right, you join me a little while later. We're uh, just about to pick up our Corsa. Uh, but it is on an army camp, so I'm not going to be able to film. <laughs> uh, I think I'll get in a little spot of bother if I did. So... We're going to uh, film up to the gates. And I'm going to dig out my photo ID so I can get onto the site. Or onto the camp. I see there's no entry signs and I thought, oh, I can't go in there. Okay. Switch lights to side lights. Where's oh, a tank? HGV lane. We'll have that one. Right, I'm going to switch you guys off here and then uh, I'm pick this car up. Well, that's our Vauxhall Corsa picked up. Didn't take very long, 15 minutes we were in there. And uh, it's two o'clock now. ETA back at the yard, it's half past three. That's it, all done. All this week's cars are collected. But yeah, sorry that I can uh, take you onto the uh, Lark Hill. Lots of tanks and interesting stuff to see, but uh, yeah, one of those things. I'd probably be in prison if I did. <laughs> uh, right, I'm going to sit back and enjoy this journey back in the beautiful sunshine. And uh, I'll talk to you when we get down to uh, Trent's HQ.
There we go guys, half past four and we are back at the yard. Truck is unloaded, cards out, and we are just about to go home. I've just spent 20 minutes getting all my gear together because as you can see, we are sat once again in the Scania. Um, so yeah, we're in this again. Uh, I'll be in it for all the next week. Uh, might be in it forever, hopefully, fingers crossed. We get used to it and uh, yes, that's it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.